though the moon must be full tonight because we're doing two songs from one of our favorite bands of all time, Jethro Tull. One from Aqualung and another from Songs from the Wood. Uh, songs from the Wood. Yep. And this is, uh, I named the show Ever a Tull Moment. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a punster and a player and a marketing guy. So anyway, we're calling today's show Ever a Tull Moment. Two, we, this is our third Jethro Tull uh, video. We love him so much. And we know a lot of our viewers really love Tull. And we haven't done one in about four or five months. So we figured it was time to get back to Tull. And so Nick selected a song and I selected one. For me, this is the, my third favorite group of all time. Okay. The Beatles are my... All-time favorite. Number two is Steely Dan, and Jethro Tull is my number three. Uh, although, for a long time, Tull was number two, but I don't know. I just think collectively I have to go with Tull. I mean, with uh, Steely Dan a little bit before Tull, but who cares? We're playing great music. The thing you. about this is that Nick, you know, confessed when we did uh, Passion Play that he didn't like Tull, even though uh, Aqualung came out a couple of albums before Passion Play. And we went to see Passion Play together in 1973. But in hindsight, Nick is really in yeah. love with Aqualung. It may now be his favorite Jethro Tull album yeah. of all time. And me too. I love Aqualung. It was my, one of my first exposures to Jethro Tull. I mean, I love Stand Up. I love Benefit. Uh, I know, but Aqualung is just extraordinary. It when just I jumped saw out. Ian Anderson, uh, at the, we were at the Forum in LA, and Frank and I went together, and we sat in probably the worst seat in the house, but... All I could see was Ian Anderson and, of course, that great musical cast with him and just fell in love with him and never looked back. But this album is considered maybe one of the standards there. Was, I, I heard an interview with Ian Anderson and people were trying to say, is this the greatest Jethro Tull album? And Ian Anderson, it's like a father who has 12 kids. He can't tell you which one yeah. is his favorite. What do you say? He says each one has its own style, but Aqualung just busted Jethro Tull way out into yeah, the atmosphere. Supposedly 7 million albums sold. Probably I more. It. I say it's double that. It's, you know? I don't know. When, the Wikipedia page said that. Now, when was that posted? Could have been five years ago, seven years ago. Yeah. This album is just awesome. With songs like Him 43, uh, Aqualung, Mother Goose, and the one Nick selected, which is one of the monster songs, singles from the album, uh, Locomotive Breath. Gotta hear it. You and know? I selected from the 10th studio album, Songs from the Wood, the title song, Songs from the Wood, which is my favorite on that album. A joyous, wonderful song. So two great, different kinds of tunes from Jethro Tull. And hey, if you like what you're going to hear, we ask you to please subscribe, like, and share if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you know when we're coming and on. And hit that like icon because it helps us get the, in the algorithm to spread the word about the video. And if you have subscribed, God, you know. We love you and thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. So without further ado, let's get let's into it, all you tell lovers all over the world. Ever a tall moment. If there ever was one, this is it. Right now. And we're kicking it off with locomotive breath from Aqualung, the great Jethro Tull.
all-time loser Had long and true as dead Oh, it feels a test and scraping Steam breaking on his brow Oh, Charlie stole the handle And the train didn't watch top boy No, it could slow down Oh, oh, oh. sees his children And his best friend In bed and having fun Oh, he's calling down the corridor On his hands and knees Oh, Charlie stole the handle And the train didn't want stop going No, he took slow down <laughs> Yeah about doing train songs locomotive breath yeah <laughs> love that song what a wonderful intro to that song my god you know the uh piano work is so exquisite at the beginning of that song as it moves the song in and then it just takes off with the raw power, power. of the rock just, just power. in there yo that song is four minutes and 26 seconds doesn't it feel like it passes like this I mean, it seems like it should be a long... I mean, I'd like to hear it. I wish it kind of was longer almost, you know. It's so tasty. Remember the movie The Train with John Voight? He escapes from Oh, Runaway this. Train. That's Runaway, Runaway train. train. Oh, man, oh, man. I always think of that when I... When, when you hear uh, locomotive breath? Yeah. yeah. His breath kind of was full of locomotive stuff when I'd he was on the train, that thing. But anyway, yeah. what did you think of locomotive breath? What is your favorite so Tull song on Aqualung? So many good Is it ones. locomotive breath? One of the other ones... So, there are so many great. This album is so my iconic. God. My God. Uh, oh, and, and we heard Mother Goose the other day. I was in my car and uh, they played Mother Goose on Sirius XM and it sounded, I hadn't heard it in a long time. God, I love that song too. This album is so magnificent. Just a great, great Tull album. What do you think? Leave us your comments. Tell us about your Tull experience. What's your favorite song on the album? What's your favorite Tull album? Whatever. But anyway, we are going to kick it now. We don't want to slow this thing down. We want to get into the music. So the next song is the title song from the 10th studio album. And song from... He went... Th look, dig this. Uh, Aqualung is released in 71. 71 right? This, and that was the fourth album. So Songs from the Wood is the 10th studio album in 77. So six years later, six more albums. Just amazing how Tull was on a roll creatively and everything. And um, this album was very well received. And if you ever get a chance to see the video of, of Ian Anderson and Tull doing this live from Madison Square Garden, you got to watch it. I think it was from 1979 or something. It's an amazing performance. Ah. This song is joyous, full of the happiness of life. It has a real minstrelly uh, folk song Greatest feel. front man all time. I don't care. We can argue, yes. But greatest front man of all time. The amazing Ian Anderson. Anyway, here he is at one of his finest with a great song, Songs from the Wood. Hope you enjoy it.
Let me bring you songs from the woods To make you feel much better than you could know Better than you could Dust know Dust you down from tip to toe Dust you down from tip to toe Show you how the garden grows Show you how the garden grows Hold you steady as you go Hold steady as you Join go Join the chorus if you can It'll make a view an honest man Let me bring you love from the fields Poppies, red and roses filled with summer rain To heal the wound and still the pain The threatens again and again As we drag down every lover's lane Life's long celebrations here I'll toast you all in Let me bring you all things refined Galley hides and lute songs served in chilling ale Greetings well my fellow hail I am the winter fill your sail I am the cross to take your nail A singer of these ageless times With pitch and prose and just a rhyme Poppies, red and roses filled with summer rain To heal the wound and still the pain The threatens again and again As we drag down every lover's lane Life's long celebrations here I'll toast you all My God, that song 
is a miracle. I mean, it starts out with this gorgeous kind of traditional English ballad kind of sound, minstrelly, and then it busts into this incredible mini rock opera. You know, I it's mean, like a time warp. If you guys ever watched the show Outlander, to me, this would have been a perfect song to use in that. That's where travels back in time going through the rocks. Uh-huh. Kind of like. Anyway, perfect. The other thing would be in a Robin Hood movie. I don't know why nobody's used this. In, you know, they did a remake with um, the Australian actor of Robin Hood, and it was, I, I really enjoyed it. This would have fit perfectly in there. Why don't people play his music more often in movies? And why isn't he in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Break. Come on, you Are guys, you get off your asses and, and think and say, this man, this group needs to be installed in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Jeez. He's a blessing, a gift to humanity. This, that song, I mean, think about where that song went, oh how God. it started, how it seemed like you were transported backward 500 years and then suddenly thrust forward with the same kind of thematic quality, but it became a prog piece with this gorgeous, amazing layers of different things and he going was the on. Conductor. I mean, he was conducting this music from the very first note all the way through. This was like a synthesis of everything Jethro Tull. It had rock, prog, balladeering, minstrel music. Timing differences. Oh, oh, timing. Oh interesting musically with the time that signatures. that drummer was playing cool, wasn't he? That oh, drummer was It's bad. magical, the kinds of in- introductions of instrumentation and stops and starts and shifts. It is just a miraculous song. But what did you guys think of Songs from the Wood? What did you think of Locomotive Breath? Did you enjoy our selections today? I think it's an interesting contrast. How much do you love two parts. How much do you love Ian Anderson? How much uh, his concerts, I've seen him twice phenomenal i Me mean too. the man is never terrible he's always so good. so great uh and uh we're so glad to have returned to play a couple of tull songs because it's been a long time and you know we love him so much this yeah. band they're so great deserve all the honors that they've had and deserve more put him in the rock and roll hall of fame uh, that's a joke that is oh. a joke Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the show today. If you have and you haven't, subscribe, like, and share. If you have, hey, you're getting your money's worth. What's, your favorite, yeah, what's so. your favorite album? What's your favorite song? Give us your best memories of concerts you've attended. How, were your friends all into Jethro Tull? I'm, I'm assuming they were. And I said you're getting your money's worth. It doesn't cost anything to be a part of what we do. That so enjoy subscribing thing. if you can. We love to have you on the team. And thank you all for being with us for another day of... Ian Anderson and Ever a Tall Moment and Nick and Narf. Signing off. We'll Take see you next you time. Peace out. Bye. Love y'all. Bye bye.